Hello everyone, welcome to Great Learning. Eclipse is a widely used integrated development environment that helps you organize projects in a very efficient manner. IDE is nothing but combining a compiler, editor and other tools that help you write the code, run it and manage the code as a proper project. Though many IDEs are available for you, this one is quite popular because of its easy interface and different libraries to help you with. Eclipse IDE is primarily used to develop Java applications, but it can also work with other programming languages such as C, C++, Julia and Perl via plugins. So let's begin the video then. If you haven't subscribed to our channel yet, I want to request you to hit the subscribe button and turn on the notifications bell so that you don't miss out on any new updates or video releases from Great Learning. If you enjoyed this video, show us some love and like the video. Knowledge increases by sharing, so make sure you share this video with your friends and colleagues. Make sure to comment on the video, any queries or suggestions and I will respond to your comments. In this video, we'll see how to download Eclipse IDE and how to install it on your system. All right, so the explanation will be step by step. So please follow the steps correctly. All right. So the first step is you can open any browser. Here I'm opening the Google Chrome browser and then visit the Google home page. All right. So there just type in Eclipse IDE. Okay. And then the first link what you see. Okay. That is this Eclipse.org. Right. So you can just click on that. And then on the right hand side, you can see the option download. Okay, just click on that. Okay, then scroll down a little bit. And here you are seeing one more download option. So here it says the Eclipse installer now includes a JRE for Mac operating system, Windows and Linux. Okay, so all you have to do is just click on this. Okay, then again, it is going to take you to the download link. Just click on this and the download should begin. Yes, the download has begun. So let's wait for the download to complete and then we'll begin our installation. Yes, the download is complete. So what I'll do is I'll extract this file on my desktop. Okay, so let me go to my desktop. Yes, so here is the downloaded file okay so to install all you have to do is just double click on this so the dialog box for installation will be opening in just a moment yes so can you see here the installation wizard menu is being displayed so there are so many options here to install your eclipse id so the first one is eclipse id for java developers second is for java and web developers okay third is for c and c plus plus and there are so many other options okay but what i'll do is i'm going to select the first option okay the essential tools for any java developer okay so i'm just going to click on this okay so here you can select your installation folder okay i'm going to leave to default and then click on install okay so i'll just click on install the installation process has begun all right so we have successfully installed eclipse id onto our system so it's saying launch okay so let me just click on this launch so the next step is you have to select a workspace that's a directory so what i'll do is I'm going to type in a folder. Okay. So here I'm going to create a new folder. Okay. So let me just type Eclipse projects. Okay. You can give any name and then I'm going to click select folder and then launch. So the Eclipse ID will be opening in any moment. Yes. So this is your Eclipse ID guys. Okay. So this is how it looks. 
right so these are your you know menu bar that is you have so many options over here okay and you can do all the configurations this is your package explorer you know i'll just minimize this this is again the same package explorer you know so it all depends on what version of eclipse id you're downloading okay so what you are seeing over here might be slightly different from what you download right because you might be downloading the latest version right so don't worry about that most of the things will remain the same it's just the upgrade what you're going to get with the newer version all right so i hope with this you have understood how to download an eclipse ide and how to install it right so let's summarize whatever we have seen so far okay so first of all we saw how to download an eclipse ide and how to install it right so based on your operating system you can download it so if you have mac linux or windows okay and next we also saw concepts such as what is an ide right and that is the nothing but the combination of an editor compiler and a debugger right so all these things will constitute of an id and after that we also saw the menu bar present in the id with so many other options right you have file edit right so many other things and lastly we also saw some keyboard shortcuts i also demonstrated with a sample program how you can execute a java program in the eclipse id right and we also came across few problems which might occur during your compilation right so i hope with this you have understood how to work on eclipse id right thank you if you haven't subscribed to our channel yet i want to request you to hit the subscribe button and turn on the notifications bell so that you don't miss out on any new updates or video releases from great learning if you enjoy this video show us some love and like the video knowledge increases by sharing so make sure you share this video with your friends and colleagues make sure to comment on the video any queries or suggestions and i will respond to your comments